The aim of this video is to teach you how to use the EasySharp coach. It will also allow you to understand our method and to keep your instruments in perfect working order throughout their life cycle. The Deppelin method relies on two key elements. One, the sharpening follows the structure of the steel and the curve of the blade. And two, maintaining a precise angle. Steel has a structure similar to that of wood. It is important to respect this structure and therefore sharpen by following it. You will then create a smoother surface condition and plane the blade's cutting edge. The cutting edge lasts longer thanks to this method. Here is an example of poor sharpening. The instrument's blade has multiple facets and the blade's cutting edge is serrated. To you, the blade may appear to be extremely sharp, but the micro teeth quickly become blunt and the instrument must be sharpened more often. After sharpening with Easy Sharp Coach, you will obtain this result. Don't hesitate to look at the tips of your instruments with a magnifying glass to check their state before and after sharpening. You will need the following. Two Easy Sharp Coaches, a stone, a test stick, a magnifying glass, sharpening oil, a clean cloth, and of course, the instruments that you want to sharpen. Start by putting a few drops of oil on your stone and spread it around using a clean cloth. This simple action ensures optimal surface finish for your blades. First, mount the coach guide onto the stone. For right-handed users, the guideline points to the right. For left-handed users, to the left. In order to have a good view of the instrument on the stone, you should be sitting at a table and resting your elbows for added stability. Hold the stone between your thumb and forefinger so that you can see over the stone and look through the guidelines. Position the instrument so that the lower shank or terminal shank covers and is parallel to the guideline. Whether sharpening a curette or a scaler, you need to align the instrument along the guidelines. Lay the lateral surface of the blade flat against the stone. This is the movement the blade will make on the stone. And this is the rotational movement of the handle. The point of the instrument should always be pointing towards the thumb or the coach, depending on which end of the blade is being sharpened. Once you have the correct position, you should move the instrument back and forth over the stone whilst rolling the handle between your fingers. This will enable you to follow the curve of the blade. Let's take for example the Gracie 7-8 curette. Mount the Gracie coach. This is used solely for Gracie curettes. The point of the instrument should always be pointing towards the thumb or the coach, depending upon which side of the blade is being sharpened. The lower or terminal shank should cover the guideline and remain parallel to it. Once you have the correct position, you should move the instrument back and forth over the stone whilst rolling the handle between your fingers. This will enable you to follow the curve of the blade. You should avoid using force. Simply slide the instrument over the stone. The wider your movements over the stone, the more effective you will be. For universal scalers and curettes, use the universal coach. The method is the same. Lay the lateral surface of the blade flat against the stone. 
cover the guideline with the lower or terminal shank of the instrument, move the instrument back and forth whilst rolling the handle between your fingers. Use a magnifying glass from time to time to check that the geometry of the blade has not been altered. Using a permanent marker, you may also paint the lateral surfaces of the blade to check the angle and the uniformity of your sharpening skills. After two back and forth movements, the color should have disappeared completely. The instrument is correctly positioned when the handle forms a right angle to the stone, resembling a T-shape when viewed from above. In addition, the blade is pointing towards the thumb, thus lying along the axis of the stone. This position is incorrect. The red line should show that the blade is not along the axis of the stone and one sees that the handle is not at a right angle to the stone. 